Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a very peculiar video. We're gonna react to Stephen Investigates Islamic Exorcism by the channel Conscious Life. Just recently I met up with a viewer of mine, I know you're watching, hi there, and he told me about Rukia, the Islamic exorcism. Just listening to his story, I got goosebumps, man. It was so creepy, so frightening, but it piqued my interest as well, because prior I didn't even know that there is real exorcism within Islam. Yes, believe it or not, I come from an Orthodox Christian perspective, so I knew about Christian exorcism, about the power of the Bible, the spoken word, etc., etc., you name it, but I never knew that there is Islamic exorcism. And that was one of the reasons why I was suspicious, because I believed in the power of the word and I was thinking to myself, okay, if you cannot do an exorcism Islamically, then it must be from the devil. You do an exorcism with the cross, of course. All right, with no further ado, let's have a look. <laughs> You've lost it. Oh, <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, still there. Well done, you look at it. Okay. So we're meeting Yasin. He's an exorcist and he's going to be exercising a, a jinn. From what I understand, it's a, a demon that predates Adam and Eve, apparently. They lived in this sort of pre-biblical era. This it's might funny be when now. a white guy says it. Hang on, hang on, sorry guys. According to one study, half of Muslims in the UK believe in jinns and that they can only be exercised through a process called rukya. Mm. I want to witness an Islamic exorcism firsthand to I've better seen understand either, the relevance of these ancient rituals to modern day Islam. First, just explain to me what is an Islamic exorcism as opposed to a Catholic exorcism, if that makes Not sense. That much difference, actually. Okay. Like, the Catholics will recite their prayer, uh -huh. we'll recite okay. our prayer, and the prayers are actually very similar. Okay. And um, you'll see probably abnormal reactions within the person. Mm. And so what would indicate that something is a jinn and not sort of a mental health problem? So mm. that's the whole thing. Is it a jinn? Okay, for us, even that is questionable. We've seen so many videos of these Rukia people yeah. just utterly talking nonsense. <laughs> right, we can show you some videos and it's totally superstitious. Okay, okay. And Islam kind of like came to remove superstitious beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, do you believe yeah. in jinns? Do you believe in... We uh, believe in jinns. Okay. Okay, but do they actually necessarily possess people? Okay. That's another question. Okay. <laughs> Yasin explained that many Islamic exorcists in the UK convince clients into believing they're inhabited by jinns to charge huge sums of money for sure. their services. You always have he explained that these entities are better viewed more neutrally as harmful personalities that cause spiritual ailments like depression or suicidal thought and that reciting mm. specific parts of the Quran or Bible can expel them. While his slightly more rational take on exorcism appealed to my scientific sensibilities, I was still a bit confused as to why he'd invited me here to document this. If a demon wasn't going to appear, what was I here to film? Yeah, you're not going to see the demon. It's multidimensional. So right? I'm going to actually get you involved. Okay. Okay, so Rod, do you want to just lie down? Yeah. And uh, just watch this. Okay, just relax. Okay. I will be left in the Shaitan regime. The Ardi will have his Sama, you will have Sami Uladim. You better off taping him. I will be left in the Shaitan regime. I think the gin is in the belly, man. I will be left in the Shaitan regime. I will be Kalimat in the Shaitan regime. I will be left in the Shaitan regime. I will be left in the Shaitan regime. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم وغير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. We press there now. No. There you go. Okay. Keep pressing. 
What am I looking for? And that's it. <laughs> that's okay. what you're looking for. You uh, found it. Look, look, look. He's holding my hand. He's really in pain. Okay. okay. <laughs> that really reminds me of ayahuasca <laughs> ceremonies. Yeah. It's quite interesting, man. I had this talk with my Arabic teacher as well, and he talked about the cleansing of jinns, that people puke it out. And this is what I experienced in the Amazon rainforest with the shamans. But in order for it to work, you need a dead psychoactive brew. Here, on the other hand, we see the same effect just by reciting Quran. So that's it's very, very interesting. Yeah. We So you located a personality. Yeah. I've shown you how to remove this personality. I see. I, that's what you were looking for. I was, I was a bit confused. So the, 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 I, the personality was localized in the stomach. Yeah, exactly. I that's the area of affliction. So anyone who has multiple personality yeah. disorder, yeah. inverted commas, we can more or less locate that personality okay. and extract it in this manner. What's interesting for me mm -hmm. is, is your, you know, this scientific, I wouldn't call it a skeptical approach, so you're looking for some, some kind of rational foundation for what's going on. But there's definitely a superstitious element to what I'm seeing. I mean, it looks very much to me like you're pulling a demon out of this guy. Do you have an explanation? What is it for you? What is it? What's inside you? What's don't, it, what did you feel? I don't know. I, I wish there was an answer yeah, or there okay. was something out there yeah. that would tell us what it is, but yeah. there is nothing. Yeah. Can you see? And you're just happy in that not knowing. Like, this is the, the sense well, we're that we're not I happy. <laughs> we're looking <laughs> into it. <laughs> we're looking into it. We're yeah. I mean, if he really had an ailment and now it's gone, of course he would be happy. He would need a rational explanation for it. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's the Western mind. Yassin wants to take the superstition and faith element out of his exorcisms. He believes the words of the Bible and the Quran have innate universal power. He wanted to prove that anyone can locate these split personalities and expel them using prayer, even non-believers like me. Because if that's the case, that would undermine all these other immoral Rukya practitioners who charge exorbitant fees for their services. That's why he agreed to meet me. He wanted to see if I could perform Rukya and also if I would respond to Rukya. لا تأخذه السنس ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع إن له بالله بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يهيتون بشيء من واصي كرسي في السماوات والأرض كاميرمان would you like to press your friend because I don't know your friend but he seems out of it أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم wow he seems out of it yeah yeah, yeah, he is. As Yasin probed my wow. upper chest with his incomprehensibly strong digits, I remember feeling a creeping numbness along my left side that spread across my torso and then down wow, to my legs, shocked. to the point that it felt like I'd been injected with some bizarre epidural. It was pleasant and comfortable and nothing like the distress his other clients seemed to go through. While I remember being completely lucid and aware, there are moments of footage I have no memory of. Like when I'm lying on the floor and he's tapping at my stomach. Okay, wow. right. I'm going to call it there. You tell me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> wow, I'm mind blown right now. Honestly, I can't even say anything about this. This is so shocking to see. I'm speaking and lightheaded right now. But when you... When okay, so I haven't concluded and I haven't pushed it. Yeah. But it's just proof of concept. These are just simple prayers that people had traditionally and um, you know there's some kind of healing to it and it's yeah. I mean at this stage even him as he said a self-proclaimed non-believer he must believe this transcends rationality of course I was really shocked to see this I thought that at least there must be belief within yourself for it to work but as you can see a total non-believer a westerner a white guy has nothing to do with Islam and the Quranic verses had such an impact on him even more impactful than on the other guys because this guy was gone he was in some sort of trance loosened state absolutely mind-blowing wow so i think yasin got okay, a placebo wanted, man. which was basically using the quran to put a non-muslim into a trance but i certainly didn't i have no idea what happened to me in there yasin believes that he's extracting different wow. personalities um, that would otherwise cause a psychological and physiological harm but he refuses to call them jinns i do believe that at least on a subconscious level Yasin and his clients do believe in jinns and that's what gives his rituals their power. 
but that still doesn't explain what happened to me either way no that does explain it i do believe as well that he believes in jinns i however assume that he simply uses a different jargon in order to make it more rationally appealing scientifically appealing to the western audience i think it's a smart move however he surely believes in jinn he's reciting quran and you have the surah al jinn for example so therefore certainly he must believe in jinns not only in a metaphorical sense but in a metaphysical sense in a real sense of course and you you don't have an explanation now because this realness is what you experienced okay, I think there's a and we all experience it right now from these seeing this archaic medieval rituals if we study and explore them objectively <laughs> and impartially without all that superstitious baggage to understand what's driving all those reactions in people to understand what's happening to them so that's it i'm going to go home i'm going to watch all this footage again it's still his rational and, mind um, yeah i'm going to try and see what happened to me in there <laughs> all right guys and this is it for today's video this was absolutely shocking and mind-blowing man i didn't expect anything of this sort i expected some demonstration of rukia but most definitely not rukia on this western reporter this was absolutely crazy man moreover he in the end still tried to rationalize his experience and this is what we all fall prey to we experience something in life but then we need to put a label on it we need to understand it yeah most certainly it's not a jinn it might be something else we have to try to understand it ultimately this came from an islamic context you do have the explanation for this those are jinns those are entities that are being exercised now you can try to rationalize it but ultimately it had an effect on you and i always say experience makes believers once you feel it then you know it otherwise they can tell you whatever they want to but once you saw it for yourself you cannot be fooled either way anymore because it is real for yourself this is what i always say about spiritual experience as well you had that experience nobody can take it away from you and nobody can take that experience away from this very rational man i believe that this will stick with him and who knows maybe he will start questioning his own rationalism possibly this is a beautiful start of him coming to faith all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below absolutely shocking man as always may god bless you all much love and peace